Hello once again my fellow Prussian brothers, and welcome to another episode of Tekken Mania. This is Deadman9001, the voice of the Grusha 4 a channel, bringing you some new footage of my little Tekken series. Hopefully this will be running for much longer than any of my other series, and in fact, well, be an awesome series showing you some Tekken things. Anyway, we, on the last episode, finished the uh, alchemical chest that turned into an energy condenser. That's what I meant to say. And we put up some more of this building. So, let us begin with today's episode. I think my plan for today is to probably get working on the technical part of Tekkit with build craft and industrial craft. Uh, since I've already started with the equivalent exchange and I think the alchemist right now is the furthest along I want to go on with this m whole new ser set of Minecraft. So I noticed I'm a little low on marble to finish the roof and that, that's the big plan. You know, this this whole building that I'm making, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of maybe making it better before the next video we post you. Uh, however, I'm not sure yet. Oh, God. Well, this is what happens when you go running into a mine shaft with just a almost broken stone pickaxe. Anyway. So the main purpose of this little venture in here is just to get some marble. I'll definitely take the iron ore because for the stuff we're doing for now and the future, we're going to need refined iron and iron ingots and loads of fun stuff because the technical part is actually in the most expensive parts of Tekkit. And you just thought maybe making an alchemical chest and an energy condenser was, you know, expensive. Anyway, I'm just going to make some marble bricks to put up on the ceiling for now. And I'll get the two more blocks to finish this out. So yeah, I'm trying to make these videos much more frequently. I've been saying this for s ever since I even started this channel. And, uh, well, look we'll at us now. We have 14 videos again. I forget how high we went before. But we were pumping them out day in, day out. And it was just, it was lovely. And, uh, I haven't been able to do that in a while. Of course, I gotta wait till, you know, absolute midnight to even make any audio recordings because of the fact that. Well, during the day, I have dogs and people at home, up, you know, down the floor below me. So I can't always censor that. Whereas during the rest of the, uh, at least at this point in time, they're all in the basement and I'm all the way in the second floor of the house in my own little, yeah, I have the whole top part of my, house, my own house. My parents are nice. I'll stop arguing about that. Uh, yeah. So, to make refined iron, I'm sure you probably know by now, but if you don't, you just put regular iron ingots into the furnace and it will make refined iron. It doesn't convert it, you like you have to use two to make one, or the other way around. It's one to one ratio. So, uh, I don't actually have enough in the creeper. Creeper's always creeping. I don't have enough. Uh, I'm just gonna look around at this uh, refined iron. Now, I, I don't know what to do with it yet. The, the uh, energy condenser. I think the creeper's not even near the door anymore, so probably just. Uh, we're going to actually go set up a portal now. Over here. I think, I think this is probably a good spot to put the portal away from the house. Uh, well, at, right now it's a house. I Well, a place I'm building up to be a usable house, but uh, it's, it's not going to be a house in, in the future, it's just going to be the factory part where all the stuff is separated and everything. So, so we'll get a house, a proper house set up soon enough. 
Uh, I'm probably not going to spend a video making the house. I don't know yet. I just kind of don't want to waste everyone's time watching me build a house and fail. Alright, so we're going to start building this. So the, you know, earlier today I was in, uh, was in town, well, in the city, anyway, and um, came across this uh, uh, shop, and I was happy to see Minecraft things, and well, I, I kind of got a, you know, a little OMG over the fact that I had actually finally seen for my own self the foam pickaxe and t-shirts and stuff, so, you know, when, when I have some free time to, well, tomorrow, well, on Friday, definitely might buy some of that stuff. Not that you'll probably see me in it, but... Well, not right now, anyway. But, uh... Yeah. So you'll see, uh... You might see that sometime. Probably not. But I thought it was cool. To actually see stuff like that, and uh, let's, let's, I'm gonna get some water. So I'm thinking of putting little water spots around the portal, just for aesthetics. Well, I actually, to balance it out because I already used the water. I was probably going to use it for the farm, is what the original purpose was, but I don't know. Today, Today's episode is probably going to be about random stuff that has to be done, that has, you know, absolutely no straightforward focus. So I'm going to make some more iron ore here. Well, iron ingots, I already made iron ore. I'm going to make a machine block, which is one of the things you need to make a lot of the machines and industrial craft and build craft. I'm going to make a furnace because uh, to make a generator you need a machine block and a furnace and you need an RE battery, which uh, I don't have any copper all made up for it yet. So. Oh, I need. Oh, yeah. I need some um. Some rubber to make insulated pipes, copper insulated pipes, which is the basic for. Uh, actually, copper pipes or uh, uh, copper wire is the basic form, but copper insulated wires are the basic safe form of transmitting any type of energy in Minecraft. Copper is actually very useful. Right now I'm making a tree tap, by the way. If you don't know how to make it, that's how you make it. You just make like a faucet or a spigot shape. And there you go. And uh, you'll see, oh gosh, well, that tree kind of looked like a very tall enderman. But anyway. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So copper is like coal, very common. It's more common than iron actually, so not supposed to be anyway. We haven't found a lot of it yet, and I haven't probably mined a lot of it. So uh now we're off to go find a rubber tree. Which if you're not sure what a rubber tree looks like, it is a it's kind of like a regular tree, dark, darker wood, and it has two leaves at the top from everything else. So it's not like in that tree in the distance you probably saw. It actually has two on top, so that makes it a little more different than the pine tree, than the, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I think it's pine. Pine trees that you, you see in Minecraft, which is what grows in the taiga. It's like a pine tree, you know what I mean. 
It also has light green leaves compared to the normal stuff, so... <coughs> a little iffy of this area of spring. Alright, so finally we have found our rubber tree, as I said. It's a lighter colored leaves with a darker color, and you right click on whenever you see one of those kind of orange things sticking out. No, I'm not eating any of that. It's sticky resin that you get, and that allows you to make rubber. If you smelt sticky resin, you get rubber. Anyway, um, now as you notice there, when I use the axe on it, I also got sticky resin. That's one way of getting it. You actually can get more from the tree by using the tree tap. And also, this sapling is very important. Rubber trees actually drop at least one or two, and most likely it's a one drop tree for saplings. So it's very important to get them if they're far away from your place. Like if you build your place near one of these, and just keep replanting them. That's that's all. You know you have an instant thing. And when you get an extractor, which is uh, probably one of the machines you'll probably build soon, you can actually just put the regular rubber wood in, and it will spit out some rubber. So you won't even have to do the whole process of, you know, using the tree tap or cutting it down. Well, you cut it down anyway, but you wouldn't have to use the tree tap to try to get it all. Also, when you smelt, or when you use the extractor on it, I think you actually get more than you normally would get. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's if you extract the sticky resin you get more output for uh, for rubber but anyway so just gonna need trying to collect more saplings uh, if I can collect two from one tree we can replant one so that'd be good and that was a good hole there And these things do have a wear and tear. Wear and tear. So, um. They, yeah, durability. That, that's why I made a few. I wasn't sure how many I'd find or how many I'd actually attempt to, you know, extract. Also, with rubber trees, uh, the dot. the spots where the sap actually spawn is I guess it's supposed to regenerate after a while I haven't seen it before so I haven't seen it do that before so I uh, think that I might be on around here. I mean, I'm going to stay here around here to make sure I get a few more saplings like that. I had to cut that tree down just, just for this to actually happen. So it would uh, start despawning the other trees. Because you know what happens when leaves are attached. They don't despawn. I honestly don't want to sit here and do this all day either. Alright, well. Nope, here comes the lag. This is why you've seen a lot of white around. Just because of all this lag. Anyway, I think it's probably best we get ready to go.
Alright, so we're back to the humble abode. And we're gonna plant the three rubber saplings down in the distance, because I, I am still planning on this uh, this farm here. Don't don't worry about it. It it will happen. It'll happen. I'm not that you know distracted. So we're gonna put the two obsidian in there. Uh, nothing else for now. Yes, copper. I'm gonna smelt that. And yeah, I'm just gonna think about how I'm gonna do all of this, you know. Just... Alright, well, the copper's done. I'm gonna put the resin in there. And it will extract rubber, which we can use to. Uh... No, I don't want the copper nugget. Yeah, we have rubber. I'm trying to think here. If, uh, I'm just gonna throw some of this. What am I gonna throw in there? I know I want to get rid of something. I don't know rubber wood. Need that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Put the cobblestone in there. And the bones. You know, I probably shouldn't throw the bones in there. I, I left one. Awesome. So I, I'll try to get bone meal out of that, maybe. So the bones actually have a high EMC, so it's not terrible. And uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna make some sticks. No, oh, yeah, I'm gonna make some hose. Yeah, th now we're gonna actually get to that farm thing I was talking about doing. And again, I have no inventory. I need to be better managed at this at this stuff. All right, I'm just gonna throw all the ingots and ores and stuff in there. I got some tin ore, which is going to be very useful. I'll throw some more in there. All right, let's, let's uh, get some seeds because can't can't have a farm without seeds. I'm actually going to uh, plan it out now, maybe. Nope, nope, we're going back to the seeds because that's more important. Alright, so we have a few now. Okay, that, that, alright, we gotta check this. Alright, flax seeds is a whole different thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of the purpose for flax seeds yet, because I haven't actually used them in any time I've ever played Tacket Creeper. But, we're definitely gonna use the other regular seeds. I'm gonna put the shovel down so I can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little walkway in the middle of a little bit of water for fertility. And I'm going to make the infinite water source here. So the problem with the structure pack already is that the hoe looks a little like a shovel. You don't hold it the same, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna dig out and around. Uh, maybe I dug up a little too far. Do you want one to be the spot of the plants and the other to be the spot you get to work, walk on? So I'm gonna use this dirt. Just fill it up. I'm going to build this up a one height. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is actually run the water underneath while I'm walking through on both sides. You know, that way there everything is 
in both sides is going to get covered because the middle is going to be that walkway like the main walkway maybe we should put a torch down oh oh zombie hello hello friends are you going to help us with the field and well i guess not because you just you just too one directed i know you wanted to give me a hug but uh i'm sorry i'm not i'm not really into the hug idea you pinch I don't like when you pinch. Alright, we're gonna use this water here and uh, fill up the infinite pool for now so I have somewhere to get the water. Awesome. Run it through the middle. You know, I should honestly have more buckets for this. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Tune in next time for even more fun and excitement. Thank you for joining us. This is Grushafaria's Deadman 9001, the voice of this channel. Tune in next time for even more fun in episode 4.